All right, hey guys. Today we're going to talk about combo chance and gun blades. Now, gun blades outside of islands are kind of in an awkward spot, as against high level armor, they're useless boob cannons because their heavy attacks don't guarantee slash like other weapon types, and gun blades build combo very, very slowly, so blood rush isn't very good on them, that is until now. So, what is combo chance, and it's exactly what you think it is. So instead of say, I hit once, I hit twice, different stances actually have different combo chance multipliers, and these combo chance multipliers are exactly in line with the damage multipliers on the wiki. So if I take my Dragon Nakana here, and I take Blind Justice, and we're just gonna do the E-Spam combo on a Corrupted Heavy Gunner that is paused. So instead of getting one hit, like you would normally expect, uh, I get three, two, and four, which gives me nine combo exactly. Now, different actions also give you different combo, like Ground Slam should give you five combo, though damage fall off will affect this. And if I do a Ground Finisher, I get ten. And for, for the most part, this seems to be true for every weapon type except Gun Blades. Gun Blades function a little bit differently. So with Gun Blades, no matter what stance you use, no matter what action you perform, no matter what combo you do, you will always get five combo per hit, even though the Redeemer Prime shoots ten pellets. Which is probably the whole reason why these things build combo so slow in the first place. So if the Redeemer Prime builds combo so slowly, how do we fix that? And the answer is combo chance. Now, thankfully, combo chance actually double dips on gun blades. So instead of getting going from 5 combo to 10 combo per hit, I go from 5 combo to 20. Meaning, every time I hit this enemy, I go up a combo multiplier. What this means is we can now use a traditional combo build on the Redeemer, and it actually kills in a decent time. So this is the build I'm going to be running. I'm going to be running Blood Rush, and Drifting Contact will counteract the negative of True Punishment. I've got Crit Damage. Now, you can replace this for Condition Overload. I hear that they recently removed the cap from Condition Overload, uh, but if you're just going to be using the Redeemer Prime mostly, uh, you're not going to see a real difference between the two mods, and Organ Shatter costs less anyway, so that probably means like less Forma, even though I'm only using one. Uh, so keep that in mind. I'm running Corrosive, though if you want just mass low-level ad clear, run Gas. And of course I have Attack Speed because the time in between shots without this is really slow and that's also contributed to Gunblade's building combo extremely slowly. So you're going to want Attack Speed for sure. Though if you don't have a Max Prime Fury, you can actually run Quickening, which in addition to giving you Attack Speed also gives you Combo Chance, which I said double dips on Gunblade's. So let me show this off against 8 Corrupted uh, Heavy Gunners at level 165. And watch how fast I build my combo. Oh, I'm already at max combo. I forgot to mention that the Redeemer Prime has a little bit of punch through. So if I hit multiple enemies, I can build my combo even faster than 12 hits. Probably as little as 3. And because of that, I can use my heavy attacks willy-nilly and build my combo right back up to where it was. Now, I'm sorry I'm booping these enemies off, but... Oh, max combo again. I'm actually gonna keep it this time. And ground finishers are devastating on this. That is if you manage to hit them, though sometimes they whiff for some reason. And there's our last enemy. Oops, I missed some pellets, and she fell off. Now, this is also true for the Sarpa, so if you want to run, like, Shattering Impact and Viral on that, you can totally do that. It'll get similar damage, though, since the Redeemer has more crit, it's better now because Condition Overload got nerfed. So, I just advise you run this instead. Because of this, it also makes this better with Warframes like Volban that benefit from high damage weapons. Because I can basically deal, like, mass AoE damage with my Augment. So yeah, you can build combo extremely fast with Combo Chance. And this makes Gunblades a viable option now for combo builds. So yeah, give it a try. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.
Peace.